What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So, Samsung fans, stand up. The Galaxy Note 9, one of my favorite phones, just received Android 10.0. That's what I'm talking about. This is one of the reasons why I hold on to devices for a long time, to see how they age. So I got Android 10.0 that I'm about to install on my Galaxy Note 9, but I got another Galaxy Note 9 that has the original software, Android 8.1. So I'm gonna update this phone to Android 10 and we're gonna breeze through the OS and see the difference between Android 8.1 and Android 10 on your Galaxy Note 9s. So sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right guys, so I got both the devices here. I have two Galaxy Note 9s, and I want to show you guys real quick that I have one Galaxy Note 9 that's running Android 9, and I got one Galaxy Note 9 that's running Android 8.1. This is the original software, okay? So there we go, the original software on both devices. Well, at least on one device. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So we got Oreo running here, and we got Android Pie running here as you can see, but I'm gonna keep the original software on here so we can breeze through the OS after I uh, update this phone. So let's go on and update it, here we go. We got Android 10 here, which is uh, a little over two gigs. Uh, then we have uh, one UI 2 upgraded to Android 10, and you get a slew of, uh, of new enhancements, dark mode, icon and color packs, smoother animations, full screen gestures, uh, and one-handed mode, accessibility, you got uh, drive care, you got digital well-being, you got some enhancements with the camera, and so forth and so on. Samsung contacts, calendars, reminders of my files. I mean, you have so much here that this device is about to get upgraded to. So I'm excited to upgrade this device to Android 10, and we're gonna breeze through the OS and see what it's all about. So let's go on the download it, and I'm going to see you guys on the other side. Let's go. All right, guys, so I got Android 10 running on my Galaxy Note 9, but what I did with my old Galaxy Note 9, I just kind of changed the colors a little bit so we could get some fair and balance, and I inverted the colors so once we go into the menus, they all go have that dark theme. All right, so you could do inverted colors on your Galaxy Note 9, or you could put a, th a theme on there to get that dark colors and stuff like that. So that's all I did here for the Galaxy Note 9. Now. Let me go to show you guys that I am running Android 10 on the Galaxy Note 9. Ooh, as you can see, all the new stuff is here. And uh, that's what I'm talking about. So we got One UI 2, Android 10. Ooh, yes. So Android 10 here, and I want to show you on the old Galaxy Note 9 right here. And I'm running Android 8.1. So I got Oreo here, Android 10 here with the dopeness, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go to a breeze through the OS so y'all guys can see the difference between Android 8.1 and Android 10. Again, once you swipe up, you still got the same app drawer. All right, it's still fast and fluid. Look, I've never had no problems out the Galaxy Note 9, uh, but there it is. There we go. Still have that nice smooth, and uh, so there it is. And But the drop down menu has changed. Uh, now with uh, Android 10, it comes all the way down and you have links to Windows is now available on the Galaxy Note 9. That's something special, link to Windows, which you do not have on the older Galaxy Note 9. So there it is. Uh, so you got your always on display. You got all your bells and whistles here. Now you do have kids mode now uh, on uh, your drop down menu. You got focus mode and you do now have a dedicated dark mode here. Uh, edge lighting and stuff like that, but you got edge lighting here on this one. So uh, you do have screen recall uh, that you don't have on the Galaxy Note 9, uh, the older version. So yes, now you do have uh, screen record uh, technology. You got smart view here, and I don't see smart view there. Uh, so there it is. I'm sorry, there goes smart view right there. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the go in the, the menu here, all the way at the top. Now look at it, how it has changed, all right? 
you got wallpapers. Now you have a nice clean look. Let me go on and update that just a little bit. Then you got a clean look here. Wallpapers theme. Uh, instead of having advanced features and stuff like that, device maintenance, all that stuff has changed. All right, now you have uh, biometric and security. Again, all the stuff has changed. If you can see here, boom, you got digital well being now on Android 10 uh, that you didn't have on Android uh, 8.1. So that's something new here. All right, and you have all kinds of new stuff here. You got tips and help, and you had your user manual here. Uh, and besides that, I have developer options there. All right, oh, I tell you. The older Galaxy Note with what Android 8.1 is smooth. Oof. Man. Yeah, I always say that the Galaxy Note was a very, very good device, very smooth. I mean, everything about it works very well. But uh, with the enhancements, it is smooth here. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. So advanced features, you still have your S Pen and stuff like that. Uh, uh, do you have, looks like you got pop-up view here. Uh, you got multi-window here, but you don't have multi-window over here. So things have changed. You got linked to windows. That's what I like. That's going to be very, very good for the Galaxy Note 9. You got linked to windows. I, I made a video about that. So go ahead on and check it out. Now you do have your reduced animations there. Uh, you don't have reduced animations here. So as you can see, everything has changed a little bit in these menus. Let's go back. All right, uh, you got device care now here, and it's nice and easy, simple, uh, not like the old one. Uh, you had to go, let's see, device maintenance, and it does this. And you can hit optimize, optimize your device. Now, as you can see, the whole layout has changed. The whole layout has changed. So there it is, you just freed up 21 gigs. I just freed up 21 gigs of space. Uh, by using device care. So it lets you know everything that's going on. And now I got both devices at 100% so it can run very good. And hit done, bam. Yes, let's go back here. So there it is, as you can see the settings there, it doesn't have the settings there, uh, which is nice. So you get to see all that goodness of Android 10 and the purpose of uh, the, the, the icons going down is because of the one-handed use with your thumb. Uh, a lot of people complain that you can't touch stuff stuff here. So now Samsung have put everything lowered. So if you're holding the, uh, the device in one hand, you get to touch stuff and it works very well. Okay, again, when it comes down to speed, you don't have no problems with speed. Uh, so that's a good thing. Let's, let's go into the camera and see some of the newer things with the camera here. All right, now with the old camera layout, it didn't really have, they had all your stuff at the top here, but uh, with the new camera layout, it's all at the bottom. You got your live focus, your photos, uh, your video and more. Once you hit more, then you get it to your pro features here. Uh, but on Android 8.1, you had all your stuff here at the top. Uh, I mean, AR emoji, hyperlapse and stuff like that. So uh, you can see all that here at the top. Slow mode, auto, live focus, pro mode, panorama and stuff like that. But with the newer 10.0, uh, you get a nice clean interface uh, that has everything here that you need in one menu. And they make it nice and easy so you could take care of business. And uh, there it is. So I have February 1st security patch that's on this device. As you can see, February 1st security patch, which is a good thing. So as of me recording this video, it's uh, February 24th. So February 24th, 2020, this device got February 1st, 2020. So it's definitely up to date, which is a good thing. It's running Android 9.5 Samsung Experience on this device here. So just so you know, that's what this device running, Android 9.5, Samsung Experience version. And we would go here, go back to the software update, and it's running Android 10. So it doesn't have a, 
a Samsung experience at all. It's now it's called One UI version two. So it, it, Samsung went away with the Samsung experience and went to One UI. So once I, uh, if I was to update this device to Android 9, I would get One UI um, versus Android experience. A Samsung Experience. So Samsung Experience have went away guys and now you have Android UI version two, especially if you get Android 10. So there it is. I wanted to make this video go completely in detail of uh, Android, the beginning in the future of Android Galaxy Note 9. Look man, you could get a Galaxy Note 9 for like like 350. It is a fantastic phone. I mean, you gotta think about the S Pen on both devices. No matter what, you're gonna get all the features you know and love right here. Boom. And that didn't get the pop-up menu there. That's cool. Uh, as far as the pop-up features, I don't see anything different there. So that, that all looks the same. I don't see anything new on Android 10. But yeah, so there it is. Woo! All right. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me wipe this off. Of Android 10 running on the Galaxy Note 9. Ooh, yes. And that's what I'm talking about. Boom. See you guys on the next video. Peace. Man, that's smoky. Look how beautiful that is. That's what I'm talking about. Later.